Hello, hello everyone. This is Polywell and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, we're just going to talk. We're, I'm going to do this battle here because this seemed like a good encounter instead of trying to make up something on the custom battle. And we're going to just talk about some stuff going on with the channel and to celebrate 200 subscribers. Which might not seem like a lot to some, but that's still a lot to me. I only expected like maybe 40 people to subscribe to this channel, let alone get 200 in a little over a year. Anyways, let's do this battle and we'll start talking. Alright, first things first, we're just gonna have these guys follow... Where you at? There. Follow you, follow him. You're gonna be a void off. We're gonna put you at 11.1 .1 kilometers. That's 13. Nope, not too far. Come on. No, no. I was there. I was perfect. There. Perfect. Now, let's see. We have to the east, so we want to go... Let's go south. Go that way. Alright. Now, while it's doing that, let's discuss a little bit. Yeah, we made it to 200 subscribers. Surprises the heck out of me. Surprises the heck out of Mutton. Uh, I might see if I can try and get a word from him later. I think he's currently available. I don't know. We'll have to see. All, right. All I have is ore power, and I can't even ore it. <laughs> All right, guys. I finally got Mutton to sit down because all it took was a simple question on the Discord. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm recording this on OBS, so sound might sound weird. Apologies for that. And no, you can't see the Discord. <laughs> All right, Mutton. Any any words to say about us actually making it to two hundred? Um, congratulations. Thank you. I uh, I just happened to be here when it happened. <laughs> Very proud of you, Bud. Proud of you. Oh, it was a team effort. Though I don't think most of the people would know about you since no one watches Pokemon or Boulder's Gate for some reason. <laughs> nope, and, and that's fine. You know, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's our tea. Yeah. And I like coffee anyway. <laughs> Alright, that was that was most of it, so say goodbye to everyone, Mutton, and we'll we'll catch right. him on the next video with him in it. All Maybe right, the Christmas yeah. special. That's right. Take care everyone, be safe out there. But that's a surprise because this was just kind of done half as a hobby and half as a weird little um what's the word I'm looking for? Example of my bad editing skills, because I was trying to get a job that involved editing. <laughs> but, the fun hobby kind of won over, and that's what we've been doing this whole... Oh, wow, look at that. That's a really nice shot there. Anyways, <laughs> before I let myself get distracted once again. The fact that we've made it to 200 surprises me a lot, and it makes me very happy. And thank you very much for that. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the uh, content. Ooh, that's a good hit. Okay, this is one of them. Not too worried about that. Then. The content on the channel has been mostly Ultimate Admirals, as you saw. And I do want to keep reaching out to other stuff. We will be continuing Armored Core after a bit. I just basically uh, got busy and never had a chance to do another another uh, session Re yeah, session not session recording session and I keep putting it off because I know I'm going to spend hours and hours doing it because I get obsessed with that game when I play it but look forward to more of that when the time comes Boulder's Gate might be on a hiatus for a while uh, we'll have to see. It's up to Mutton, because if Mutton's sick and tired of the game, because he's been playing it a lot with other people. And so if he's sick and tired of it, we might have to do a little break until he, you know, he's ready to play again. Ul um, not Ultimate Empire. <laughs> I'm getting games mixed up. Star Wars Empire at War. I plan on doing more Thrawn's Revenge. Point four is out. Sure. No. I don't remember if it's point three or point four. It's out. Downside of being on the dev team is you forget what numbers are which, which one is the number we're working towards, and which number is the currently released one. We're getting close to releasing a new version, by the way. Uh, I 
I don't think it's going to be before the end of the year, but it might be close. But that's not important. That we're not we're not the Cory loses channel, so don't don't be going off of that. If you want any news on the mod, go to Cory loses and get it there. <laughs> As for shipyard champions, that's going to be on a small break because it's the end of the season. The season's over. I think we plan on starting off in January for the new season, but I haven't heard anything for absolute certain on a date yet. So look forward to that. Until then, Monday will be the Christmas special, so look forward to the Christmas special on Monday. I do want to keep doing Christmas specials. Not Christmas, but uh, holiday specials. So let me know if you have any ideas for Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's Day will be the next one, either that or New Year's. Not sure. Yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any ideas of what games I can try out, let me know. Rule the, r rule the Waves 3, I've watched other people play. I'm not sure if that's for me to be honest. I'm willing to give it a shot if enough people really want me to do it, but this is why I want to do why I want to play Ultimate Admirals. I get a beautiful scenery, I get to make cursed ships, and I get to kind of mess with the system. Roll the Waves 3 kind of looks more like XL with naval guns. <laughs> so I don't know how much I'll enjoy that. I'm willing to give it a shot though. Because I've seen people do some silly things with uh, super cruisers. We'll find out though. We'll find out. Also, I think this guy's about to torp the heck out of my poor battleships. Oh yeah. Yep. Th those are torpedoes. That's a lot of them too. Ooh, that that hit. <laughs> By the way, how did people like the uh, music video for the for the? Uh, keep getting distracted by stuff in the game for the uh, one year anniversary let me know what your thoughts were on that because I enjoy made I enjoy making that kind of stuff it's not the first one I've made though it's the first one I've ever uploaded so let me know uh, other things for content I I do mapping for Thrawn's Revenge so if anyone wants to see me try doing some of the mapping stuff let me know and I'll do that as a little side thing because I kind of need to keep mapping, and if I'm mapping, I might as well make a video out of, it if, out of it if people are interested. Also, is that another torpedo? No, that's just a bullet. Um, where was I going with this? I lost track of my mind. It's not, it's not, it's not uncommon. I do that often. <laughs> but yeah, mapping. So if anyone wants to see that, let me know. Might even show you some of the... Uh, prized collection of ugly class ships I've made using the editor. Maybe some of the kit bashes I've done in Blender as well. We'll see. Uh, what other stuff would we like to see eventually? I thought about doing Mech Warrior. Let me know if you want to see Mech Warrior, because that's a fun game. And for the most part, that's it for like the immediate content stuff. I do plan on doing streaming soon once I get the good internet. Also, this is going to be more torpedoes coming. I just know it. Um, as for... Ooh, that ended it quickly. Hello, hello everyone. This is Future Polly editing the video. Um, really sorry about all the ums. I even used it just a second ago in the pauses I have been doing. I am still getting used to talking without end, and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and so, look forward to when I eventually do get better at doing commentary stuff like that. That's all. Space Engineers. I might be interested in doing Space Engineers. Did you know that game's 10 years old now? That blows my mind. I remember it coming out. But then again, I also remember Skyrim coming out, and Episode 1 Pod Racers coming out, and Star Fox 64 coming out. And the Game Boy Pocket coming out. And the original Game Boy Pocket coming out. I might be old. No, I'm not old. I, I am just not young anymore. <laughs> this is a nice little firing line going on there. As for... Uh, Ultimate Admiral's content, how are we feeling about the American campaign? It's been kind of fun to do the old, do old good, 
and stuff like that, but I'm also kind of pe I'm burnt out is not the right word. Just kind of, I guess you want to go bored? Kind of bored with the American campaign just because it's America. I love America outside of the game. Inside of the game, they are just in this weird little pocket by themselves and it's a pain to go anywhere. Basically, you conquer the South Americas, you bully Spain in the, in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, and then eventually, after you get teched up enough, you can go and mess with Europe, but it's so far away that you get farther in game than I like to go, and you lose the ships I want to play with. <sighs> so we'll see. I'm going to keep doing that, because, well, I don't like just ending a campaign, despite all the campaigns I've ended. But, let me know if you want to see some other, like, side campaign that I can do. Like, I really want to do another Austria-Hungarian campaign. There's some fun stuff with that. I've been thinking about, like, doing a, uh, three different types of fleet. Because they only have, like, three, three ports in Austria-Hungary in the, most of the game. So having one fleet that's all about attack, one fleet that's all about defense, and one fleet that's all about speed, and just doing that. I don't know, let me know. If you have any other ideas like that. Uh, somebody did talk about maybe trying to do Germany with just heavy cruisers, which sounds like a terrible idea, but I am slightly interested. Not against that idea. We'll have to see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why am I pause? I better unpause. Do -do -do. As for challenges, any challenges you would like me to see for challenge stuff? Oh, also let me know how you've been enjoying the weird little... Uh, not normal campaign videos, but st battles happening in a private campaign and stuff, like testing out sh ship designs and whatnot. Let me know how you've been liking that. Also, is that... Ooh, that heavy cruiser might be dying. We'll find out. <laughs> Let me know how that works, because these have been kind of fun. There's a very low... Uh, what is it? Not commitment, but... I don't have to do a whole lot to make these make these, uh, well, I'm gonna call them Chinese campaign videos where I'm testing out stuff because it's not a proper campaign, it's just me just picking and choosing random fights that go, oh, that might be interesting. So they're very easy for me to churn out and they can still be fairly interesting. Also, the AI needs to get better than just sending ships in one at a time. Though I suspect I'm going to be seeing a lot of torpedoes here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, it's just very easy and very interesting and fun. Let me know if you guys have enjoyed them like I've been enjoying making them. If you want to see me uh, do more stuff with, with that, let me know. Any ideas to test out, I will happily try. And that's, for the most part, it. I feel like there was more, but I, I've forgotten most of it. <laughs> oh, there goes that heavy cruiser. Not a perfect victory, but that's fine. This is just... Just testing stuff out. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And that's pretty much it on that front. How are these guys doing? By the way, I have no plans on starting in a Discord channel at this point. And I don't really have any plans on trying to monetize. Because I don't... I am very happy and very thankful that we've made it to 200 subscribers. And I want to get as many as I can, but I don't think we're going to ever get to the point where I'm going to have to worry about that. <laughs> so I'm not going to do any of my videos with that in mind. If we ever do get to that point, we'll discuss it then. But right now, it's just for fun. Hang out with you guys, do fun stuff, kill some ships. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh yeah, nice little, nice little turnout. <laughs> I'm just gonna offer myself that. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoyed our little talk too. Please. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. I don't want to be begging like, talk to me, talk to me, but it's the only way I'm going to really know what you guys are thinking. I'm not magical in that sense. I can't just go, huh, 
Billy Bob Joe wants this or that or or whatever, you know. And for those that have been around since the beginning, thank you very much. Um, it's been it's been a fun, been a blast, and I'm looking forward to more. Hopefully we'll see 300 soon, maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll find out. Have a good afternoon, evening, day, twilight, whatever it is, as long as it's a good one. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I hate asking for it. That's why most of the time you won't see me asking for it. And please like and comment. Mostly because if you like it, I know it's doing well. That's the only other way besides commenting that I get any feedback is likes and dislikes. Not that I get a lot of dislikes. I think, the, I think I've only got one with more than two dislikes. Please don't dislike this just because I said that. <laughs> but yeah, I need, I need feedback because how else am I going to make this better for you guys? All right, bye-bye. I think you would like it. <laughs> um, half, you like half of it.